I would implode and shit on myself. Frederick Fox, which extravaganza? Who else but Frederick Fox? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. I saw, I saw the case. I saw the case of this fantasy porno movie. <laughs> oh my god. It, it was called Clash of the Titans. <laughs> what? But, but Titans was spelled <laughs> T I G H T apostrophe U N S. <laughs> the Titans. What the fuck? And his camera fell. <laughs> oh no, rip's red. Keep like a symbol library? I'm like, what? Oh, drag and drop mouths? Like that one dude with that $9,000 fucking Cintiq. And he just boop boop. He's making a fucking flash uh, animation. Oh my god, that was hilarious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to poke fun, but man, that was. <laughs> uh, I would have been mad if I wanted to use a Cintiq. Put vodka in here. <laughs> Cause I'm one of those people. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. But here we go. Ah, oh, yeah. Ew. Oh, shit. And it's everywhere. Fuck. I didn't shake this. Gross. Nice job. I will be back. Odorant. I'm sorry. I don't want to sit there and... and smell your bacon cheeseburger pits because you don't want to put on you know oh it's cold i did you say like i don't like putting on the odor and it's cold on my armpit skin it's like well your smell is fire on my nose and my brain and it's sucking my will to live put this on oh my god does that i remember one of the girls that i worked for that i covered her shift and Saw her on Facebook that afternoon getting a tattoo. And I didn't even care. She, she just made it sound like, oh, it's a family emergency, and oh, you're doing me a huge favor. And <laughs> and she was getting a tattoo. I, I didn't care. But I was just, I was less upset, like, oh, I worked and did you do? It was more like, you, you just blatantly lied to me, and you, you know... And didn't care because you're talking about it on Facebook now. Maybe it, yeah. maybe maybe it was a, a serious family emergency for her to get uh, daddy's money tattooed on the small of her back. Daddy's money. <laughs> well, that's a family emergency. It's daddy's money. I can't judge. And the two YouTubers that they zoomed in on was the one bitch who tried donating hair extensions to cancer charity. So. Fuck her, you know, and uh, wait, the other what? one next, yeah, like donated fake hair. <laughs> she tried donating fake hair to cancer <laughs> chair and got called the fuck out for it. They had someone like that in their video, they wanted someone like that in their fucking room. like it happened before they put them in the video, <laughs> it, yeah, that happened like months ago, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just yeah. That's the most unliked video in YouTube history. All the guys like trying to speed run through the hardest part in the game. This kid will stand up and be like, "I just wanted to tell everyone here that this is my first ever video game convention." And and then he like starts waggling his hands like, "Please give me applause." And then, like, every, everybody's like, woo! Or, like, everybody claps, and the one guy in the back's like, woo! Woo! Or, or, or whatever. And, 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 and he's like, well, you know, I just... I wanted to say that this is really important to me. You guys are 
one! He starts crying. Uh, yeah, like, I've seen so many of these, and it's just like, oh, no, I don't want to be there for that. I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. I would implode and shit on myself. <laughs> I have a fucking infarction. Oh, my God. I couldn't. I could not handle that. Looks like you caught a few flies in your grill. Maybe keep your mouth closed next time. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Turn the other cheek, butthole. Oh, you didn't. So good at that. Turn the other cheek. Turn the other cheek, though. What's a webcam? Don't. Are you talking about a face cam? Cha, uh, he's talking about a face cam. What do you call it a webcam? What's a webcam? Is it like a Spider-Man thing? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hear that soon. <laughs> so suspicious. Look, all right, sir, could you just uh, step over there for me? Okay, thank you. I'll be over there with you in just one minute. No, 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 sit down, sit down. Stay in your seat, sir. Oh my god. <laughs> That's like the the voice equivalent of a buzzkill. What you boys doing out here tonight? Just <laughs> God. You're not wrong. You, you go up on a party of your buddies drinking, even if they're not doing anything wrong, or smoking a J bone and, and just come up there and just be like, What you boys doing out here tonight? <laughs> People's hearts will drop through their rear ends. It's oh man. <laughs> this is the last voice you ever want to hear and, and my mom would sit there on the speaker phone with the teacher and she's like yeah well we have mr gafford is drawing some very violent things and he actually makes them move with these little flip charts that he does he gets the sticky notes and makes them into moving death animations and, you know, and all this horse shit. And my mom's sitting there, you know, and she's like, oh, I'll, I'll give him a stern talking to when he gets home when I'm sitting there with her. And she's just looking at me like, oh, my God, will these people just shut up? And she, she just hangs up the phone and we both look at each other and we're just like, oh. Might not be that perfect, but it was it was something similar. I remember sitting there with her, and she's just like, uh, yeah, well, they get over. Yeah, but uh, I always liked making cartoons. You will never amount to your grandfather. Yes, huh? <laughs> How much you want to make a bet? <laughs> Ewoks have large talons. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I knew you gonna do that. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> I do it all the time. You won't be able to catch me. <laughs> where, where he shoots him and he says it in the other language. He goes, Wane. And then he dies. Yeah. In subtitles, it says, Oh no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, oh my god. <laughs> Everyone's laughing at the fan stabbing now. <laughs> <laughs> the timer on it went off. Which was terrifying. Like the old analog thing where you turn the hand and when it hits the thing it just goes unendingly until you go in there and click it back to zero. Yeah, I went in the kitchen with my fucking shotgun. I was like, who's in there? Who, who's playing a prank on me? That was terrifying. When you live alone and you're lying in bed and it's pitch black and no one is with you 
and then all of a sudden your your kitchen timer that has to be manually set by a person with their hand clicks to zero and goes off I was using it earlier in the day and set it back to zero and it's an hour timer and I must have pushed it one notch past zero because it's like three two one zero fifty nine and then I went and laid down <laughs> and about an exact hour later I'm like half asleep going to sleep you know you're getting into the oh, okay I'm about to fall and I'm just laying in bed looking at the door to my room yeah it was an hour later I had completely forgotten I was like okay hour you know blah going to sleep da 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 and, and then that you ever seen the movie Phantoms when they first get to town and they're in that couple's bakery in the kitchen and that yeah that god almighty Bobby I want you to meet my colleague Dr. Hamilton and I would like you to get the fuck out of here oh, it's all get out of here Oh man! <laughs> I'd like you to meet my. I'd like you to get the fuck out. Yeah, my call center job, every time I went out on the patio for my lunch break, everyone was talking like, well, if so-and-so doesn't want me cheating on them, they need to quit cheating on me. You know, they got three kids to take care of. I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> All of you sound miserable and wrong. I'm not getting into this. <laughs> I, I was a Marlboro baby, so I can do if I'm pregnant. I'll never forget that. Ugh. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. What? <laughs> Say that one more time when I'm listening. I, I was a Marlboro baby, so I could smoke while I'm pregnant too. I'll <sighs> that shit. Listen to yourself when you talk. Obviously, something's fucked up in there. <laughs> hey, Dad, you want to do the cinnamon challenge? And he's like, "What the hell's a cinnamon challenge, you little shit?" Does this end with a lot of mopping? Uh, no, actually, but it's hilarious. <laughs> Put it oh this my God. way. He tried, he was told, he's like, Hey, Dad, I heard some people can't swallow a spoonful of cinnamon. Like, it's impossible. And he goes, I ain't no bitch. And he goes, he grabs the cinnamon, and goes, Um, like that, and we're all just like, all me, Zolbach, and all his friends. Waiting for and, it. And... And then he, and you see him dip his head down, and we're like, oh no, oh no. And he lifts his head up, and you see he literally looks like a, a Chinese myth dragon, and all this cinnamon smoke is coming out of his nose. <laughs> <laughs> and his eyes are wide open. <laughs> when we flew into San Diego, I asked the manager, could I go home? Because I took some LSD at the airport because I knew where it would hit me. I'd be in my own little... <laughs> <laughs> so I got the bennies. <laughs> so Benzedrine, that's another <laughs> stimulant. I said, bitch, I pitch tomorrow. What the hell are you talking about? Because I got up that morning and it took some more acid. She gave me the paper. I looked and said, oh, wow. <laughs> what happened? Here? What an interesting man. <laughs> oh, man.
Everybody back then in the major leagues was on Dexamine. <laughs> That's another stimulant. <laughs> so I got the bennies. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Uh. <laughs> Man. How long am I going to live? Well, um, if you stay positive, I'd say seven, maybe eight, thirty, eight forty-five. <laughs> uh, I made a flip book of a stick figure dude popping a boner pill. He like his little stick arm throws and the little dot goes up and into the black head of the stick figure and then a fifth stick appendage grows out of the groin and curls around like all big all over the, the notepad like oh it's a hundred foot long oh no I took too many boner pills ah. <laughs> and or something like that and uh, and yeah everybody told on me they're like now he drew a flip book of a guy taking boner pills. <laughs> Luke, you must think I'm the cheapest whore in town. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant right now. I was like, I'm going to get really drunk and throw these dollars at Fred. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, I've got. Oh, I forgot. I do have the Allen's coffee flavored brandy. City of Angels. This is this is giving me flashbacks. The dude's like, doop, throw a boner pill, gulp. I ate the boner pill. Oh no! What do I do? My wiener's getting huge. Oh no! It's growing everywhere. It was something like that <laughs> on 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 a post-it pad, and. uh and, and you know, it was it was like you know forty or fifty frames long. Like they were they were long, so it was like. But it was, it was just stick figures. And I would sit in class and do the ones, and then like I would turn it over and do one on the other side. So I learned to write really lightly, so it didn't. Or use pencil. I hated using pencil, but using pencil was better because it wouldn't bleed through and you wouldn't see it on the other side. And it wouldn't mess it up. But uh. But yeah, I got in trouble for that. And it was like later in the year. My mom was like, you know, ah, oh, yeah, uh, whatever. Who cares? He's just drawing. And then the boner pill animation thing happened. Oh, no, I'm in trouble. Oh, no. I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm going to get in. I don't have any more tapioca pudding. Can I get the one without the raisins? We playing on season two the other day, and I got in the game and I spawned with a salt shaker, a parachute, and a watering can. And someone still sniped me. I hate this game and its toxic community. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's like when I moved out of that really shitty apartment complex and they had cut our water off a week early. <laughs> My friend Chris. <laughs> I'll have to tell you some other time. Now is not the time. Yeah, here we go. Joe's crematorium, you kill him, we grill him. If I were a pony, I would fly away on a unicorn's back, across a rainbow, and under a moonbeam, to the rings of Saturn, where mommy would let me wear makeup. And get my ears pierced. Also, I like sparkles. And porno. Oh, man. Send that 
instructions is the way because I've got them too, and it feels too good to cut it out. <laughs> Our first guest is part of the HSN family. Right. Let's get him out here. Mom Cleveland here. <laughs> Oh. To hell with both of you. Oh, to hell with you. Oh, and Kimberly, don't you look beautiful tonight? You are just the mother of all whores. Oh. She is she is a real daughter of mammon, isn't she? Well, yeah. flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> oh. Oh. We have good yeah, time. We do. The three we of us. Good. Now, my grief. You brought a special friend with you today, Ooh. didn't you? Well, now, Kimberly, I surely did. He's a young fellow. He's a real trooper, this one. His name is Kevin, and I'd surely like to bring him out here. Hi. Kevin, if you would come out here now, I'd love Kevin. to give him a round. Yeah, round here. Here. It's hard for him to come out. Here he comes. Oh, the wait was worth it. And there he is. Oh, Hello there, you know. Kevin. Now, Kevin, will you tell these people why you're in that wheelchair? What put you there? Um, because I don't want to stand up. <laughs> don't want to stand up? You don't want to do anything, do you? No, sir. Now, Kevin, you went and saw a doctor, didn't you? Yes, sir. And what did the doctor say? He said I was lazy. <laughs> Kevin is lazy, folks. He doesn't want to do anything. I knew my buddy was about to rat me out, so I deleted all my little, like, perverted X-rated animations off of mine, and then the teacher <laughs> took it, like, <laughs> Mr. Switch took it, like, ten minutes after I did it, and my buddy Sean was like, hey, look on maths under the animation called J-O, and I had made an animation of a stick figure jerking off, and, uh, and I had deleted it. I deleted it. And I was like, man, is my neighbor and also math teacher really going to, like, would he have, like, gotten me in trouble because I made an animation of a stick figure masturbating? Like, it was a stick figure, like, with a stick going up and down on another stick. And, and it, was, it, it was just the lamest thing. But I deleted it. I deleted it that afternoon. Troll my fox. <laughs> His name's Jizz Yiffington. <laughs> Jizz Yiffington. <laughs> OC, do not steal. That's great. Donut altar. <laughs> Did you see what Bambi said? Like a church Jizzard. thing with people with donuts going, oh, the donut altar. <laughs> no, what? Bambi just said it's short for Jizzard. <laughs> I really want to change my nickname to that. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. I'm just. <laughs> but I know I shouldn't. Have. Damn, Bugs, how have you been, girl? <laughs> Just so you know, that's Kendall's original character. <laughs> really? No, I remember yeah. you bringing this up a couple years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know the fucking story behind it? Yeah, please do. Please do. It's fucking, oh my god, 11 at night. We need this. <laughs> and light right. us, please. Okay, so we're at, like, the first inaugural Arizona Faircon, and there's this dude who's in a Doctor Who cosplay. The one with the fucking the, the scarf, whatever the fuck. I don't know Doctor Who either, but I know enough from Tumblr. Vaguely. And, yeah. <laughs> and my husband doesn't fucking get it, and he's like, what's that dude's fucking problem? Fucking Jizz, Jizz Yiffington over there. I fucking I died. think he don't... And the Tom Baker dude. <laughs> that's like, babe, that's a Doctor Who cosplay. He's like, fuck that. That's just Yiffington now. <laughs> Shout out to Doctor Who. Behind that. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I would be so happy to be disrespected yeah. like that. 
Oh, man. Yeah. Wait. Uh, I, while I got your hair bugs, is, is, what's your cat's name again? <laughs> Her name's Mishka. Mishka. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's that motherfucker! <laughs> Oh god, I'm gonna give myself another hemorrhoid. <laughs> I need to quit laughing so hard. I do apologize for my rude behavior. What? If this is rude, you're the most polite rude person I've <laughs> ever had the pleasure of being. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. <laughs> and like, what do you do when someone is with Kendall stature fucking calls you Jizz Yiffington? Like. <laughs> You, you say, smile and say away? yes, sir. The check is in the mail. <laughs> dude, dude, you, I would own that name. I don't know the half of it. What? There's more? Oh, yeah. But, but Bob would kill me if I told you. Well, we we'll just have to get this Bob guy to tell us himself. Pizza for Bob. Are you, uh, Bob? Yeah, but, uh. <laughs> <I don't laughs> Sega dude on the right. Wait, is this a... Are you, uh. <laughs> yeah, but, uh... <laughs> He's so poised to. Fucking <laughs> deploy the pizza, pizza gas. Are you, Look. uh. <laughs> yeah, but, uh. I didn't order any pizza. <laughs> this is good pizza, Peter. Glad you could join us. You didn't tell him about the rumble path, did you? No, Bob. You just did. I did. You did. Spill it. <laughs> Make me. Make me. Make me. <laughs> What are you doing? No! no. Come on, my boy, now. What are you doing? No! Not the Mario doll hooked up to the battery table coaster, Chad! No! That's enough. That's enough. All right. This is the Rumble Pack. <laughs> the big reason why Star Fox 64 is the coolest cinematic gaming experience there is. It's designed with a force feedback device that lets players feel the game. Well, I, I got a question. Why have you all kept this wonderful secret about the middle finger away from me this entire time? One of my buddies is like, oh, growing up with an Asian family, uh, you know, rice, 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 everything's rice. But like the, the secret way of making that rice is you put the rice in and you wash it a certain way. And then you put your finger down into the rice until your middle finger touches the rice. And then the little line of your first knuckle of your middle finger right there is is how much extra water you add to it i've never heard that in my entire life and he's like oh yeah it's a family tradition blah 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 like it, we, everybody over here does that the middle finger and like us we're just like well honey you have to measure out the exact cup that it says in the instruction manual they obviously know more than any of your friends and a cardboard box that's my dad Mickey Mouse says it's 13 o'clock. Well, that's quite a shock. That's my dad. In four short years, I've gone from rags to riches. What I did before that, I don't know. So let it rain on my window pane. I got my own rainbow. I'm just sitting here watching Bowser Jr. grow. <laughs> this is strange, but oddly adorable. <laughs> it's 
it's uh, Danielle Kogan and Joe Grand. Who can know Joe? I want to show you all what I have here. And uh, this is how I'm going to be doing my music for the violence and for the rest of episode two. You just keep going. You just keep adding tracks to it. Whatever it sounds good. voice on here. Let's do that. <laughs> but yeah, it's just uh this is how I have my setup now. I just hit record and it it, it does it to a metronome if I need it. <laughs> I like the part that went yo 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 But anyway, not fooling with that. And so, Frederick Fox went on an adventure to finally finish a Fox in Space episode 2 once and for all. But we and he shall never know when this comes out until it does. And when it does, it shall be bestowed upon this world for all to enjoy. Boop, boop. <laughs>